And how, how's your wife, the, the beautiful Emily Blunt? We Fantastic. love Emily. We... Fantastic. That reaction means I married up. And don't I know it? <laughs> I know. Don't I know it? Oh, we just say like that. <laughs> and then that. But I've actually never been on set with her, seen how she worked. I'd heard she was a diva, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, can't get Emily out of her trailer, stuff like yeah. that. It's like, ugh. Yeah, and he says, says uh, who are you visiting here? I said, my wife. And he says, is she an actress? And I said, yeah. He said, would I know her? And I, I, I don't know, man. Her name's Emily Blunt. And he goes, he goes, you? <laughs> and I went, yeah. And he goes, you. You married Emily Blunt. And I go, yeah. And he goes, like this. Okay, go. Just go. Because there are this, there's this alien species that are acutely attracted to sound. So if you make any noise, you're going to die. That was really good. Thank you. Really Did you good. get about right? Yeah. I mean, I wrote it, but yeah, it's. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So three weeks before I read the original script by Beckham Woods, we had our second daughter. Emily had our second daughter. I was just there to watch. And uh, British people are notoriously terrible at taking compliments. Would you agree? Just like. <laughs> so you're sort of fighting the Brit corner in the household. Oh yeah. I feel sometimes, yeah. Like how would that play out? Oh, she has like a Union Jack towel that she comes down in every day. <laughs> Things like that that I find are aggressive because yeah. I don't, I don't do the same. But not only because she was insanely talented, but because she was prepared. She could harness that magic like nothing else. As soon as it was done, she asked what was for lunch. Like she's able to do this so unbelievably well. But more than that, she was the most positive energy on set. She had the greatest ideas for script, for shots, for all these things. I, I, I know it sounds corny, but I'll never have a collaboration as good as I did with my wife. That's, that's actually what she did. The first time I was like, well, I just want to get out of the way. I'm a huge fan of yours. And she went, oh. ah! <laughs> Have you become more British? <laughs> or has Emily become more it's a really good Hollywood it's, or it's more American? Of, which oh, is Hollywood? Just, oh, look at that face. Yeah, I, said, exactly. I said the wrong She's thing. British. Yeah, exactly. She's so phenomenal. She is the most unbelievably talented person, powerful person, uh, kindest person. She makes everyone around her better. So honestly, that, that was the, my experience, the best experience ever. I'm retiring is the whole point. That's the point. Of, once I work with her, I'm done. Full stalker status, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, hey, you want to go on a date with me? <laughs> um. <clears throat> Well, I feel like um, my children are probably a bit of a lost cause when it comes to the accent. I think they will be fully American. Um, no, don't fist Sorry, pump. it's not a victory. You're right. He came and he said, you know, when do you guys shoot? And I said, oh, next week. And he said, oh, you'll see. And I said, I know, I love her so much. And he said, no, you'll see. And I said, I know, I'm her biggest fan. He said, no, no, it's not until you're in the room and she does what she does will you know how good your wife mm -hmm. is. And I thought that was a really interesting thing to say. And this, uh, this bathtub scene, we only did one take. No. And it completely changed how I looked at her, truthfully. The characters themselves aren't allowed to make any sound. And it's funny how quickly, I think, it's been really nice to see how quickly the audience becomes very much like the family in the film, where people are eating popcorn, opening up their candy, and then realizing <laughs> that the family can't make sounds. So then you just watch as, you know, however many hundred people are in the audience just slowly put their popcorn down like, this is gonna get me killed. <laughs> is this true? How many times have you seen Devil Wears Prada? I mean... Not 75. Give or take, 72. <laughs> Dynamic, it's weird that she's sitting right here, but it was... We're divorced. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it went very poorly for us. Um, so I was wide open. I'm a sensitive guy, I'll cry at anything, so it's not that big a, a win, but to be connected like that, I was already in the place of feeling absolute terror, Worried that I could keep this little girl safe, keep her alive, and was I a good enough dad? Yeah. He, like, cried hard. Yeah. 25 minutes into the movie, I stood up and walked to the back of the room, and Emily got, I think, very offended. And she said, do you want me to stop it? Is everything okay? And I said, yes, I'm just looking for napkins, because I had blown through a box of tissues already. And he was watching the montage bit, and he goes, and that's my favorite outfit. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't get Annie, and so I was like, oh. <laughs> um, I think it's a blend. I think I feel John's from Boston, so he's quite British anyway, in many ways, and the sense of humor is very aligned.
I don't mean to pry, but how right. does that translate in, into bringing up the kids? Okay, we're out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> I try to figure out how to phrase this next question without it being insulting, so I'm going to phrase it as a compliment. <laughs> the fact that you and John are married in real life is not the most interesting thing about this movie. I love you for saying it. Okay, and that's fantastic. All we I, it took me forever trying to phrase that because I'm sure you guys were pitched 10,000 different romantic comedies where you're we together. We were. We when, were. Rather than. Um, um, you know what I'm saying. I do. Whatever. Has there been I a drift? Um, a full eye roll in the years. That yeah. Really <laughs> um, Please now. Oh, God. Um, Wait, this person. Um, I've never met. And we when just, Emily and I when, met, when it was, Nancy and I uh, had love at first sight. We experienced um, things together. It's you know, just, I just like, knew oh, my God. It's like a hands, own moment. And it's like, I, you know, we're both we just, floating. In fact, we never met. I cried when we see each other the first time. She told me that joke. Levitate towards the bed and make sweet, sweet love for six to seven hours. Could you ever foresee a time if your children wanted to? To turn into the Von Trapps? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Never. Okay. You no. say that I now. Mean, what if they want to get a what record if they deal? Want to. A record deal. <laughs> what if they want to? Well, then they want to, but I would love them to explore other avenues. Let me pitch you. Probably. What if we were all in Lederhosen? Then I'm in. Okay, great.